ready for an adventure of a lifetime. Join us as we explore the vibrant cultures, diverse communities, and endless possibilities in China and India. In this video, we'll dive into the living conditions of both countries, giving you an inside look at what it's like to call them home. Get ready to make a decision on your next dream destination with this exciting and informative video. Moving to a new country can be an exciting and challenging experience. Both China and India offer unique opportunities for personal and professional growth, as well as a rich cultural heritage and diverse communities. If you're considering moving to China, you'll be joining a rapidly developing country that is home to some of the world's largest and most innovative companies. With its advanced infrastructure and well-developed cities, China provides a modern and convenient lifestyle for its residents. However, you'll also need to be prepared for the challenges that come with living in a country with a different language and culture, as well as stricter government control. On the other hand, if you're considering moving to India, you'll be joining a country with a rich cultural heritage and a diverse population. India is known for its warm and welcoming people and is home to a large English-speaking population. The country is also undergoing rapid economic growth and is a hub for technology and innovation, providing many job opportunities. However, you also need to be prepared for the challenges of living in a country with a rapidly growing population, including overcrowding and air pollution in some areas. Whichever country you choose, it's essential to do your research and prepare for your move. Take time to learn about the culture, language, and local customs, and consider factors such as cost of living, availability of housing, and job opportunities. With careful planning and an open mind, you can make your move to either China or India a success. When it comes to hospitality, hospitality and welcoming behavior is highly valued in both Indian and Chinese cultures. And it is common for people in both countries to extend warm and friendly gestures to visitors and guests. In India, hospitality is considered a sign of respect and is deeply ingrained in the culture. While in China, showing hospitality to guests is seen as a way to reflect well on one's family and community. Generally, people in both countries tend to welcome visitors. But the level of hospitality can vary based on the individual's personality and circumstances. You see, racism exists in every country and is a complex social issue. That cannot be attributed to any one particular group of people. However, both China and India have a history of discrimination and prejudice against certain racial and ethnic groups. In recent years, there have been reports of increased discrimination and prejudice in both countries including incidents of racial profiling and hate crimes. It's important to recognize that these actions are not representative of the attitudes and beliefs of the majority of people in either China or India. Both countries have a rich cultural heritage and a diverse population, and the vast majority of people in both countries are accepting and tolerant of those from different racial and ethnic backgrounds. One important thing to consider about moving to a new country is the type of food that they eat. In China, rice is a staple food and is typically eaten with most meals. In addition to rice, noodles are also a staple food in China and are enjoyed in a variety of dishes, such as soups, stir-fries, and salads. Meat, particularly pork, is an important part of the Chinese diet and is often stir-fried with vegetables, used in soups and stews, or added to dumplings and other foods. Chicken, beef, and seafood are also commonly eaten in China. Vegetables also play a major role in the Chinese diet, and a variety of fresh and cooked vegetables, such as leafy greens, mushrooms, and root vegetables, are included in most meals. In addition to these staple foods, there is a wide variety of regional cuisines in China, each with its own unique dishes and flavors. From the spicy Sichuan cuisine to the sweet and savory Cantonese cuisine, there is something for every palate in China's diverse food culture. On the other hand, in India, Rice is also a staple food and is typically eaten with most meals. In addition to rice, there are also many different types of bread that are popular in India, including roti, naan, and paratha. Lentils and legumes are an important part of the Indian diet, and are often used to make dishes such as dal, chana masala, and sambar. Vegetables, such as potatoes, onions, and tomatoes, are also widely used in Indian cooking, and are often combined with spices to create flavorful dishes. Meat, particularly chicken and lamb, is also a part of the Indian diet, and is often used in dishes such as tandoori chicken and biryani. Fish and seafood are also commonly consumed in coastal regions of India, 
In addition to these staple foods, there is a wide range of regional cuisines in India, each with its own unique dishes and flavors. From the spicy cuisine of the south to the rich and buttery cuisine of the north, there is something for every palate in India's diverse food culture. Additionally, vegetarianism is widely practiced in India, and there is a wealth of delicious and nutritious vegetarian dishes available. The mode of transportation is definitely very significant and needs to be considered if you are moving for good. The most common modes of transportation in India include railways, buses, auto rickshaws, taxis, and private vehicles. The Indian Railways operates one of the largest railway networks in the world, making train travel a popular and affordable option. Buses are widely used for longer journeys and are operated by both the government and private companies. Auto rickshaws, or autos, are three-wheeled vehicles commonly used for short trips in cities. Taxis are available for those who want to travel in comfort and can be booked through mobile apps or hailed on the street. Private vehicles, such as cars and motorcycles, are also widely used especially by those who can afford them. Alternative options, such as cycling, walking, and rickshaws, are also available for short distances or in areas with limited public transportation. China has a diverse transportation system that consists of several common modes of transportation. Railways are a popular and efficient mode of transportation in China, with both high-speed trains and regular trains connecting cities and towns. Buses, both public and private, provide cost-effective options for local and long-distance travel. Metros, or subways, are growing in popularity as they are fast, convenient, and affordable for those living in cities. Taxis are also widely available and can be booked in advance or hailed on the street. Private vehicles, such as cars and motorcycles, are commonly used by those who can afford them. Alternative options, such as cycling, walking, and electric bikes, are also utilized for short trips or in areas with limited public transportation. Another thing to look at is the career opportunities that each country has to offer. India has a lot of job opportunities in industries that are growing, like IT, BPO, manufacturing, healthcare, finance, and education. There are jobs in software development, data analysis, customer service, and finance in the IT and BPO industries. Jobs in manufacturing range from working on an assembly line to being an engineer or manager. Both medical and non-medical professionals can find work in healthcare. There are jobs in banking, insurance, and investment banking in the finance sector. There are jobs for teachers, professors, and administrators in the education sector. India's economy is always changing, which opens up new opportunities in many fields. Now China offers a variety of career opportunities in industries such as technology manufacturing, finance, healthcare, and education. The technology sector in China is a leader in areas such as artificial intelligence and 5G networks. China is also a major global manufacturing hub, with job opportunities ranging from assembly line work to management positions. The financial sector in China is growing, providing opportunities in banking, insurance, and investment banking. The healthcare sector is also rapidly growing, offering opportunities for both medical and non-medical professionals. The education sector in China has also grown, with opportunities for teachers, professors, and administrators in both public and private institutions. These are just some of the many career opportunities available in China. As for the cost of living, according to Numbio's cost of living comparison tool, the overall cost of living in China is higher than in India, the cost of consumer goods, such as food and personal care items, is higher in China, while the cost of housing is lower in India. The cost of transportation and healthcare is relatively similar between the two countries. However, the cost of restaurants and entertainment is significantly higher in China compared to India. There are a lot of differences as India is known for its rich cultural heritage, diverse religion, and cuisine. It's a democratic country with a large English-speaking population and a growing economy providing a lot of job opportunities. India also has a large middle class and is home to many of the world's top technology companies. On the other hand, China is the world's most populous country and the second largest economy. It also has a rich history and culture, and is known for its modern cities and advanced infrastructure. China is also home to many leading technology companies and is a hub for manufacturing and exports. In terms of living conditions, both countries have their pros and cons. For example, cities in India can be congested and air pollution is a problem in some areas. But it has a lower cost of living compared to China. 
In contrast, China has well-developed cities with modern amenities and a higher standard of living. But it can also be more expensive and has stricter government control. Ultimately, the best place to live depends on your personal preferences and needs. It's recommended to research and visit both countries to get a better understanding of their lifestyle, culture, and living conditions before making a decision. Thanks for tuning into our guide to the Great China vs. India debate. Whether you choose to live in the land of chopsticks or the home of spicy delicacies, one thing's for sure, you're in for a wild ride. Just make sure to pack your adventurous spirit and a willingness to try new things. And if you run into any trouble, just remember, it's all part of the journey. So go ahead and make your choice, China or India. The world is your oyster. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more entertaining and informative videos. Until next time, farewell and happy travels.